The U.S. is a very popular investment destination. In fact, almost every single one of my high net worth clients and friends owns investments in the United States. But investing in the United States has tax consequences, very serious ones if you don't plan for it. I'm always amazed at how some wealthy people invest in the United States without getting advice first, especially when they have access to some of the best advisors in the world, because fixing the mistakes can be very costly, sometimes too costly to even fix. I hope that this video will help people avoid costly mistakes when investing in the US. Let's get into the five biggest mistakes foreigners make when investing in the United States. Mistake number one, not getting US tax advice before investing. For whatever reason, this seems like a very unique problem to the United States. Almost every client that I have and every friend that I have, when they invest anywhere else in the world, they get advice first. Then they make the investment so that they understand the tax consequences and everything else before making that investment. So one, they can analyze the investment properly and two, put it in the proper type of structure. But for whatever reason, people just seem to not worry about it when investing in the United States. That's a big mistake because the U.S. has some of the biggest tax consequences for foreigners investing in the United States if it's not planned properly, it can be extremely expensive from a tax perspective to invest in the United States if it's not properly structured. Whether it's US stocks, US real estate, or whatever, foreign investors need to get advice first so that they can, one, properly analyze that investment to make sure it even makes sense given the tax consequences, and two, plan the investment properly so that the tax consequences are minimized. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. Links below. Let's get into this mistake number two, not considering the tax implications in their home country. Most developed countries tax their residents on their worldwide income. That means if you live in Austria and you invest in the United States, you're going to have to pay Austrian income tax and report your U.S. income to Austria. So you need to understand how Austria is going to tax that. If you're investing through an entity in the United States, you need to understand how Austria is going to view that entity. Are they going to tax it the same way the U.S. taxes it? Maybe not. For example, a lot of foreign countries tax U.S. LLCs different than the U.S. taxes U.S. LLCs. And this mismatch can cause some significant tax problems. Also, some foreign countries like Canada, for example, have significant and very complex reporting requirements regarding foreign investment, especially in foreign entities like corporations. All of this needs to be understood before making an investment. You need to understand what the tax consequences are in the United States of this investment. You need to understand your tax consequences at home, and then you need to plan given all of that information so that you can achieve the best result. Mistake number three, investing in the U.S. individually. Investing in the United States as a non-resident alien individual is almost never a good idea. Why? Number one is estate tax. So non-resident alien individuals are liable for U.S. estate tax on their U.S. situs assets. This includes U.S. stocks, which a lot of people don't know, publicly traded stocks. So if you have publicly traded stocks in your portfolio and you're a non-resident alien individual, beware of estate tax. And here's how the U.S. taxes non-resident aliens on their U.S. assets for purposes of the estate tax. They only get a $60,000 exclusion. So let's say you're a non-resident alien individual, you have a million dollars in U.S. assets. That is then reduced by your estate tax exclusion of 60,000. So you have a taxable estate of 940,000. That is then subject, the fair market value minus 60,000 is then subject to U.S. estate tax at rates up to 40%. So you can lose almost half of the value of your U.S. investments to estate tax and it's so easily avoidable if you plan for it. The second is what we call gross basis taxation. Now this mostly applies to real estate. A lot of people don't know this. Most people are used to paying taxes on real estate. You take your gross income, you deduct your expenses, and you pay tax on the profit what's left. This is not the case for foreign investors investing in U.S. real estate who are earning rental income. Rather, the default is that you pay 30% tax on the gross rents received without any deductions for expenses at all. Now, you can file an election to 
pay taxes only on the profit, you have to elect it. So you have to do something to get that treatment is not the default. Second, gift tax. Now, U.S. stocks aren't subject to gift tax. So if you're a foreign, a non-resident alien individual and you gift U.S. stocks, that's fine. There's no tax. But real estate is subject to U.S. gift tax. So you'd want to be weary of that. If you were giving U.S. real estate to your spouse, your kids, or somebody else, you could be liable for gift tax up to 40%. And lastly, and again, this only applies to U.S. real estate or certain corporations, U.S. corporations holding U.S. real estate is FERPTA. And FERPTA is basically a withholding tax on the gross proceeds from the sale of U.S. real estate. So basically, if you sell a piece of U.S. real estate, the escrow company, or actually the buyer by law, but the, oftentimes the escrow companies do it on the buyer's behalf, have to withhold 15% tax and pay that over to the IRS as a withholding tax. Now, when you file your taxes in the U.S., report the sale. If that 15% was an overpayment of the actual tax, you'll get a refund. If it was an underpayment, you'll owe some additional taxes. But this is essentially a guarantee that the IRS will get some sort of taxes out of you. Mistake number four, investing through an LLC. Now, there's two reasons for this. One, generally LLCs are not going to provide you with any sort of estate gift or FERPTA tax protection, right? So they're only really, in most cases, going to give you asset protection. They're not really going to give you a lot of tax benefits. They do serve a purpose in certain structures for non-resident alien individual. You're setting up an LLC and investing in the U.S. through it. You're not really going to get a lot of protection from those tax downsides that I was talking about earlier. The U.S. LLCs are probably the most popular business entity at the moment. And so a lot of advisors are going to advise their foreign clients to set up LLCs, but most of those advisors don't know what they're doing, right? So you need to understand what the tax consequences in the U.S. are of investing through the LLC. Like I said, you're probably not going to get a state gift tax FERPTA protection. Your home country may not treat the LLC the same as the U.S. does, which can create a mismatch that can be very disadvantageous to you. Mistake number five, not filing tax returns to report and pay your U.S. tax to the IRS. I don't know why people do this, but for some reason they just forget about it or maybe they intentionally avoid it. But I see so many U.S. investors that are non-tax compliant. This is obviously a big mistake. The IRS does not look kindly on this if you get caught. And if, for example, in the case of a rental property, you don't file within a certain amount of time, you actually don't get to take any deductions. So it's very important to timely file your U.S. tax returns. We've been helping non-resident aliens invest in the United States for 20 years. We know what we're doing. We can help you structure or restructure your U.S. investments. If you want some help, just email us at info at esquiregroup.com or visit us on the web at www.esquiregroup.com. Thank you.